On developing news about a group of tenants who've had it with their living conditions, they've staged protests today right outside the homes of their landlords. Fox 11's Hal Eisner is live in the Wilshire District. Hal, what you got? Well, uh, that group of protesters uh, marched into Hancock Park just down the way over there to go to their landlord's house, uh, landlords of a, a Koreatown apartment complex. The protesters call the landlords slumlords. This apartment is where Maria Vargas lives with four other family members. She says she has leaks in her kitchen, among other things, so she keeps a bucket under her sink. She says she's gone to management, asked for help many times, and they've done some things like giving her traps for bugs and flies in her kitchen, but haven't followed up with collecting them or anything else like the broken windows, the kitchen floor buckling from the leaking water. So they never, never come. This is nunca llega. No, no. She's asked for her cabinets to be painted and fixed. She says the cabinet doors and kitchen drawers have been chewed away by mice. And they don't listen to us, so that's why we've come here. So on this Sunday, Maria and several dozen members of the Los Angeles Tenants Union and others in the same shape went to the home of one of the owners. They made noise, tried to call out the owner from this home. Show your face! Show your face! But while they were there, he didn't. That's okay. We won't bother you anymore today because, you know what, Magdaleno said it. We'll be back. We'll be back. In the past to get repairs. We knocked on doors and we spoke with tenants. Celeste Kessler with the Tenants Union says they unionized almost half a dozen tenants like Maria in this building. Even held back paying some of the rent. They sent management a letter that said, We will pay it once the repairs are done. That did help us achieve certain repairs, but now we're start starting to stagnate, which is why we went and paid a visit to their homes. Without response. So now, Maria still has no idea if the floor, drawers, cabinets will be fixed, if the mice will be caught, if the flies and bugs that were caught in traps will be removed, and if the plumbing will be repaired. We did reach out to the management company, to the landlords, by cell phone, by email. So far, we've heard nothing. We would like to hear their story. Hopefully, they'll get back to us. I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.